Well, my name is Brett Whiting, and on behalf of my director, Aisha Driggers from the Office of Business Opportunity, I have the privilege of introducing today uh, the Honorable uh, Mayor of Columbia, uh, Mr. Daniel Rickerman, uh, and he will speak to you guys a few words. Um, and again, thank you for coming. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Well, it's a beautiful, cool day here in Columbia, South Carolina. We're excited to be here. As you know, humidity is good for the skin, and so we promote it wherever we can. But we're very excited about this re-grand opening, as I'd like to say, of Chestnut College and uh, a cottage, excuse me. Um, I actually stayed here uh, the night I was married um, in the in the back bedroom with my wife, and that's a story that we can tell another time. But it was. Uh, this has been an institution in our community and very excited for Crystal and Ken to be our new in keepers, I guess is the proper term. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's incredible to have our past, uh, our, our most past uh, innkeepers here and then our, our I guess the originators. Original. Y'all were the original innkeepers yeah. of the Chestnut Cottage in 1987, right? Isn't that correct? It opened in 91, but then bought the house in 87. The house in 87. So I thought, so 91. So that was incredible for a community uh, of us at that time. It was pretty uh, progressive, and it has survived the time. It continues to be a, a favorite of visitors throughout, and very excited to have this historic cottage here again. As it's been through a cycle, it's been medical offices, it's been all types of things in its history. But now we have our continuation of innkeepers and Crystal and Ken, we're so excited for y'all. I know y'all are going to be excited. Um, I know you've been excited. You've been doing this for a little bit, but really for, for being part and a way to introduce you to our community. And I'd love for y'all to come say a few words uh, about your new venture. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Thank you so much. Oh, I needed that extra step. <laughs> we can make that happen. Yeah. Right, yeah, that's we got okay. that side. All right. Oh, thank you, gentlemen. There you go. <laughs> that's why they call it the South. <laughs> All right. I tell you, this is why we love the South. Oh, welcome, everyone, to the historic Chestnut Cottage Bed and Breakfast. It is an honor to share this day with you all. And thank you, Mr. Mayor, for being here, along with the Columbia City Council, the city manager, Mr. Brett Whiting, with the Office of Business Opportunities, Mr. Hammond Edwards, Senior Vice President of Optus Bank. So many people work together uh, for us to be here today, so thank you. Um, having moved here from California just this past December, uh, we are grateful for the friends that we have made in such a short period of time here in South Carolina um, and who are here today to show their support and, you know, friends like Adam Catledge who drove all the way from Beaufort and, you know, people like that. And I tell you, you have shown us Californians the best of the South. Um, on this day, we celebrate, like the mayor said, the grand reopening of this one and only bed and breakfast remaining in Colombia. Did you guys all know that? And, um, and it was actually um, about 40 years ago when Gail Garrett and his brother took this dilapidated cottage and revived it. And in 1991, um, his then... Um, former wife Diane was the inspiration to turning this into a bed and breakfast. So him and his wife Sherwood have started um, this, this service to the community and until recently and back in 19 and in 2019 it was Mary Sparrow who then took over the reins. And until recently, like uh, about 30 days ago, these were the fine people who have preserved the Civil War time home of General James Chestnut and Mary Boykin Chestnut. We wouldn't be standing here today, and so many people would have missed out on the charm and the rich and important history of this cottage had it not been for these fine folks who took who took to heart the privilege of being an innkeeper and sharing with guests the relevance of this very important home. Uh, but after this, you will get a guided tour, by the way, and Mary gives a fabulous guided tour. 
Today, my husband, Ken, and business partner are honored and grateful to be given this extraordinary responsibility of being the next generation of innkeepers for Chestnut Cottage, and we hope to make you all proud. We aim to keep this bed and breakfast as a place where people come to experience true Southern hospitality. And you may be wondering, true Southern hospitality from Californians? Well, wait. We do hail from the south of California after all, so there, there is hope, okay? And we hope that um, it, can, it brings to the community um, a place for reflection and education. And Ken, would you like to say a few words? I have to follow that. <laughs> not, Every day. <laughs> Just say yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> So uh, thank you for being here this afternoon. And you know, one of the aspects that we see in the bed and breakfast that we'd like to enhance is you know, through the local economy, uh, local economic and social systems, and how we can bring a part of that down to the downtown and the community of Columbia. Um, you know, through targeted promotions, tourism, and up through into the eastern states, elevate the awareness of all of the local businesses here. We have the local restaurants, we have museums, there's so many local activities. When the guests stay here, they're always asking us for recommendations. What do we do? Where do we go? And we want to be that source. And we've been spending a lot of time this last week or well, actually the last couple weeks after we got uh, our feet wet and really going out and visiting a lot of the local businesses around here. We believe that, you know, we can have a substantial impact, you know, with these businesses around here, not only contribute to economic benef uh, benefits, but support uh, the growth and innovation the city has planned. And I see a lot of stuff going on through Maine, et cetera. So there's a lot of things happening here. We are strong supporters of promoting a sense of collaboration within the city. And kind of along with that theme, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't recognize my mother, who uh, has the name Dixie Doyle. Please wave. There she is. <laughs> Wasn't born in the South. Wasn't born in the South, but she carries the Southern name. And she's been one of our biggest supporters uh, and fan, you know, raging fan over the years. So uh, thank you, Mom, for everything you have brought to the table. And was there anything else that you were going to say? Well, I was just going to say, uh, first of all, thank you again for, for, for coming here. But y'all y'all solidified what I've been trying to tell everybody. Nobody retires anywhere but the South, so why start there? And, uh -huh. and clearly you've listened to our advice and you're yes, going to be here. But we're excited about this. We're getting ready to cut the ribbon here on the grand reopening. But I love your commitment to continuing to push people to our small businesses. They are the backbone of our community. And if you need a list of places, I've got a one a mile long. I bet you do. Of all over, I can tell you what to get, when to get it, and where to get it. So uh, thank you. Well, we're excited about this, and thank you all for, thank you, for your thank you. investment.